Greetings everyone, my name is Atterville, and welcome to my blind let's play of Primal Light, a retro 2D action platformer developed and polished by Fat Jim. For full disclosure, I received a key from the developer in order to LP their title. Three difficulties, relaxed, veteran, and hardcore. I'll be playing on veteran. And as this is a blind let's play, I apologize in advance for any silly mistakes or false assertions I'll make. Stage 1 The town is on fire. So here is a main character, Krog. Twelve artifacts, twelve stages, with the final antagonist being in the thirteenth stage. Top left is our health bar and number of extra lives, and to the top right is the amount of currency we have left. Oh goody, this game has vibration too, and I didn't see any option to turn it off in the menu. Bonfires? What is this, a Soulsborne title? And I have to be on the lookout for secrets too. Late jump? We can jump in midair too. Reminds me of DKC in that way. So far, the graphics and presentation are pretty good. It's going for a more somber mode. I just wish there was an option to turn down the vibration strength. Hmm, something's probably up there. I knew it. The Emblem of Ur. In order to equip charms, I need to be at a bonfire. I can't jump down from there. It's not actually a solid platform like that. You're like the Castlevania skeletons. Ouch. I think I die in three hits. And I don't heal up at bonfires.
that was gonna happen eventually. The question is, what happens if I run out of lives? I don't have that many iframes either. That one enemy placement is kind of difficult to deal with. I thought I had enough clearance. Seriously, you're really fragile in this game. Even in Castlevania, I had more health. Ah, good, a bonfire. Even coins regenerate. Interesting. That was fast. I interpreted it differently. I thought there was going to be a rampaging beast at the bottom. I misread the sign. <laughs> At least I don't need to redo the mini boss room. I really wish I had more iframes. Yes, please. I need that. Hi there. Already can tell this game is going to be really punishing. I can't cancel out of any of my moves. It does telegraph all of his attacks. First boss defeated. For an intro stage, Notably more brutal than I expected it to be, especially with those bone throwing enemies.
Stage 2 I would have expected Croc to have more iframes, but I suppose not. I wished I was introduced earlier. It's a B. Slowly homes in on me. Not as dangerous as I initially thought it was. I thought it'd be closer to those crows. I wish I had a ranged weapon, or healing items perhaps, I haven't seen any yet. At the very least, I wish the bonfires healed me up. Clearly there's a way to get up there. Now the treasure chest can attack me too. No thanks, I'm not going there. Guess I won't figure out what's up there. Unless a game over on this stage, perhaps.
Max health increased. Thank you, game. So I have to be on the lookout for these upgrades. I probably won't get the best ending on my first run, but that's fine with me. This game is likely built in a way that, in order to acquire the best ending, you must not game over at all. Sure, I'll do a second playthrough perhaps. I noticed. I'll take a look at it later. Come on. Probably in relaxed mode, those don't exist. Yes, please. Hi there, giant eye. Who fires giant laser beams? My bad. At least all the bosses fall rather quickly. I'm a rune raider. These rebels have to see if I come back. Stage 3. Indeed, Jaden. Unlike Moon Raider, these levels feel distinct from each other and actually pose some challenge to me. Can't go this way. That reminds me of the Donkey Kong letters. The slide ability. So, like Mega Man, the boss will probably require me to use this ability. How did that not hit me? That must give me some iframes. Ooh. 
Maybe this gives me iframes towards hazards, but not enemies. Hmm. I'll hit the checkpoint first. I'm gonna take that out first. Now that you say it, it does kind of remind me of Blasphemous 2. Oh. Hmm. I think this is an optional area, otherwise the area right by that checkpoint, that was the optional one. You can't always tell with these games. Plenty of time in that one. I didn't realize you had to strike the walls too. I suppose this is the optional area then. There was a gate. And this loops around. And our reward is... The Fragment of Ra. I missed two charms so far. Decrease the slide cooldown. I suppose that'll be handy. So in the previous stage, and perhaps stage one, I missed two charms. Just slightly out of range. Wait, wait. Just be safe. Every time I get near a wall, I'm gonna strike it with my sword. you again. In Castlevania you aren't too bad, but here you're one of the most dangerous enemies in the game. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Die Boomin. Nope, not a Metroidvania. Just a retro action platformer. I didn't even think there was something there. Remember this for later. I'm a bit paranoid now that there's something in the wall. The first prisoner was from the south, the second the east, and the third the west. Is the boss going to be a mage? Still got me. <laughs> I'm just happy I can kill the fireball launchers. In many games you can't. There, I thought this rug was a trap. That was a trap. Kind of wish the game didn't have as many of those. It's tough enough already without having to resort to those. I'm not falling to that goop. If I were the developer, I'd place a secret on the left or right side. Maybe not? Barely ominous here. That means we're coming to the boss. Whoa. That mask. I knew it'd be important. That was fast.
grog got fried. I should be using the side move for this. It goes a lot faster. And this time, I perfect random. And this is only veteran slash normal mode. 